Hi, YouTube. I figured I'd do a video. It's actually Wednesday. And it's July uh, uh, 26th. Had a look. <laughs> uh, tomorrow is actually my birthday, uh, believe it or not. Um, so, happy birthday to myself. Be 30 years old this year. Um, so what is the update this is just gonna be a, just a i guess it's gonna be like a life vlog honestly on this one i'm not gonna be super attached to uh, any uh, one particular topic i'm gonna do like a little bit of everything currently um since the video i posted on there which i i believe it was a short video of ball joints um, well, truck's still running fine, um, we have a, I have a few small potential leaks and slash, I mean, I have, I have like a little, two leaks, um, that are very, very small and minute that I'm going to take care of, um. Is sick at the moment uh, really sick actually um, I don't mean sick in the head you know, I mean like definitely sick you can tell this is kind of a result of it going after this um, truck made it back just fine one piece she's got really really bad uh bug going on and it'll clear up in a few days and uh, it'll be really good but uh has definitely made me rethink my life's decisions a little bit um, what i mean by that is for those who don't know i don't have a license right now As everything said, I've been playing basically risky with her because we we have been having, like I said, she's been having issues. I had a I was a dumbass and well, I didn't bust it all up on myself on this one. My fault. Should have known better. Should have left her alone. Um. I was going. To, I had. I had the truck. I had the. I had the truck for sale. Or trade. The 2000 quad cab. For those who are wondering, I did have it for sale slash trade. Only because of the fact that uh, I wanted to get something a little easier to drive. But so I meet this guy. Didn't have a problem driving to it. it. Was been better than the last two days, two three days. It gets way too hot, and getting back and we, well, let's just say that we got home and that's not the end of the story. I mean, I don't know what I can legally say, I can't say, but we made it home just fine on that front but i did look at and the guy was really rude too like really really bad rude and and, and and i am not doing the trade for several reasons um pretty much he wanted to complain about the whole truck the whole time on the dakota which i get but i mean the guy i mean i literally put on the ad specifically we'll run off the truck um honestly i wasn't trying to who's nobody I, you know that's not how I roll I don't roll you know I don't roll that way but yeah um, I was gonna he, the reason why I didn't trade with him is because of fact that he had a 2000 Chevy S10 ZR2 apparently and uh, 
I say it's because it's everybody's wanting the ZR2s. They're really nice, and they get posi rear ends. And I'm like, buddy, I have I had ZR2 before. For those who wondered, I had the first one I ever made. It was a 1997. It was what they called it, the, and it was rare too. It was an unmarked ZR2. And when I traded it off, I didn't list it as a ZR2 at all. I mean, I didn't put it in the title. 1997 Chevy ZR2. Literally, I didn't do that. <laughs> but it was actually literally listed as a ZR2. It said so in the glove box. Everything that matched in that truck, it was actually... It, but anyway, that truck got rid of a long time ago. About two years ago. To be specific. That truck was a nightmare. It scared the crap out of me um, because of several issues. Anyway, that's another. You know, actually, that's gonna be the next video. I'm gonna talk about the ZR2 because I know that it's gonna be. That's gonna drop some interesting comments about it. So anyway, God basically has a. I would call it an average West Virginia truck. It's got a newer sticker than my truck. Don't get me wrong. It had a purple. It had. It had. Our photos are wondering. Ours is purple for next year's sticker. Let's see five, I think it was five or six of, of next year. Well, that's kind of strike one, in my opinion, because I asked the guys, like, hey, does it have a good sticker? Yes, it does have a good sticker, but the reason why I strike one is because he said, yeah, I just got a brand new one put on. To me, it, it, we're, we're, in the, we're in the seventh month, okay? And when somebody says that, I just literally got, you know, we're, we're in the seventh month of this year. And when a person tells me, hey, look, I just got a brand new sticker put on, to me, I'm going to assume it's going to be a sticker for seven of next year. Like, when I get that truck stickered, it'll be either eight or nine of next year. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Sorry, but, hey, it is what it is. And yes, I already looked into. Anyway, so he did that. He needs door pins. I was upfront about it. So here's a few things he wasn't upfront about. The truck ran, but it needs spark plug boots. Dude didn't tell me that. The reason why I know that is because the fact that it was, it was kind of misfiring but not bad i mean definitely could use you could definitely drive on it no problem cats deleted on the, on the truck i think mine is too we're in a state that doesn't do emission testing and i can like i said i can get a sticker put on my, that truck all i gotta do is literally put a i, I got for those wondering the reason why i can say well i know some people are gonna say well well you don't do cats i mean how are you gonna get a sticker on well or don't, one, we don't do suspicion testing, and two, the person I want to take it to, there's, there's several I, I can actually take it to, and they'll pass it just fine. Um, all I gotta have is the, basically the headlights, the turn signals, the back brake, the third brake, glass on it, honestly. The windshield's gotta be good, the back glass has gotta be good, passenger windows are up down, and you know, basic, basic, basic. As long as they're basically, all the basics are done they'll pass it just fine they don't look really that hard at anything so for all them like i said i can get a sticker put on so what i thought i'm doing the truck i got is to get that truck legal for next year i mean to get past inspection there i put a third brake light on it cargo light 50 bucks Ooh, ouch not really i uh headlight bulb for the driver's no passenger side amber light i might as well see but if i can get if i can get all of them for pretty cheap like every one of them for like 30 40 bucks i'll just go ahead and order all i'll just get them all be done with it honestly it's not a bad idea and they're not too hard or difficult to do i can get my buddy to help me do it because i can't figure out he's a dodge expert so won't be a big deal and then i gotta do that's it honestly at that point because i've done everything else so i got me and my buddy did everything else we got the bumper changed out we got the lights put on there lights tag plate on there 
Um, at that point, I could change my third break like myself. I mean, it's honestly not that difficult, guys. I mean, truthfully. So that's not a big deal. Everything else is pretty decent on it. Now, I know some of y'all are going to ask me why, my, why was I trading on the trade truck. Well, like I said, I was looking for something a little easier to for her to drive and be kind of a truck. But uh, they didn't work out. Back, back to the S10. And honestly, after that, the real reason why, I mean, yes, the frame was in better shape than mine. Um, mine wasn't perfect. Mine's not perfect. <laughs> not at all. I might even pretend and say, hey, my truck frame's perfect. I don't know why. He just, you know, can it be fixed? Yes. Will I probably get it fixed? I don't know. Uh, I plan on buying another truck. I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys right now. So I'm, I'm planning on buying another truck. Um, right now, I'm kind of like in limbo. What I mean by that is, I know where a 1997 Dodge Dakota two-wheel drive sitting at. Still perfect. It's got perfect body on it. Well, I should say perfect. I should say it has a really good frame on it. Transmission's toast, but the uh, engine is good on it. Beds is good, bodies, like I said, not bad. Main thing is the frame is perfect, or damn near perfect, and he wants a really, really low money for it. And he actually lives where I'm at, which is in Beckley, which is in Beckley right now. I mean, Beckley, West Virginia, for those who are wondering. Um, and the reason why I kind of want, uh, the reason why I was kind of looking at that is because it's like, hey, that, that'd be a nice truck because. I can just simply buy that truck, park it, because it will drive in second gear, no reverse apparently. Um, I'll also drive it up here and then just uh, park it and then buy a car or buy decently nice, uh, or like I said, buy a car or get my money saved up to buy a decently nice uh, truck that's full drive and uh, I don't mean like a fancy one either I mean like just like an S10 or Silverado uh, probably a Silverado because I, I know a bunch of, I got a buddy that's got pretty much can get Chevy C10s and Silverados all day long I mean so I'm not super worried about it if it makes any sense at all to me, it kind of don't. Um, but he's on the buy here, pay here, which I get. So if it doesn't pan out, then I'll buy a Silverado that, for sure, it's very interesting and super rare. And I know for fact y'all be very interested in showing that. In fact, I'll be honestly, be honest with you, I would love to get with the Dakota. Be honest with you, but it ain't gonna happen. It's one or the other he's going to be you know, selling the truck if he does if I don't get it which I have a perfectly good lead for that I mean, I mean that one's a guaranteed done deal I mean guaranteed I mean pretty much in the bank so the only reason why I'm interested in the Dakota is because the Dakota is really cheap so here's the next question I'm going to probably get if I don't if I get the Silverado will I buy another Dakota yes that is a big fat yes that's not a big fat no I'll have a Chevy and I'll have a, uh, I'll have a Chevy Silverado and I'll have a Dodge Dakota. Because that's what she seems to like. And But I won't buy a quad cab. What I'm going to look for is I'm going to look for a single cab two wheel drive. Or four wheel drive. It just depends on what I can get, what's available. And I'm not set on for truck. And what I mean by that is hey, look, as long as the frame's good and the body mounts are decent, it's got decent floors on it. The main thing is the frame. The frame's good. That's all that really matters to me. Honestly, I think it's got decent mounts. And the bed's decent, too. Now, I can get it something smaller, easier. Um, prefer to, I mean, prefer four wheel drive. I mean, I kind of prefer a four wheel drive, but, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm fine with two wheel drive. Because, like I said, I could take that truck and I could make it a tire munch and take it. Well, the reason why I'm, I don't even care if it runs the drive is because, honestly, that motor 
and that Dodge is super nice. It's got a nice 360 motor in it. What I mean by that is, I mean, I mean that sucker is good. Yes, I can refresh it. And yes, I will refresh it. <laughs> when I put it in that vehicle. But, it's very solid. Very stable. Now, the reason why I found this guy, let me go back, back to the stand thing. Like I said, this is a little bit, this is going to be like I said, like I said, a scramble video. So the guy gets down here, he's a little impatient, takes a little bit of that to hold him to find him, you know. And, uh, you know, the guy drove about an hour away from here. You know, he knew where I wanted to meet at, he was fine with that. I even showed him a picture. This is what gets me really bad, is he threw that kind of like the frame in my face a little bit. He used that, try to use it as a bartering tool. He also tried to use something else as a tool. And I looked at him, I was like, look, I showed you pictures of that before. He came down. So I'm not rude. I took pictures underneath the frame. Underneath that truck. Basically, he showed me the cab rust and all that stuff. Because I'm trying to be transparent. And yes, I will fix the rust temporarily on the quad cab. Too fast. <laughs> Honestly, they shouldn't be on the driver's side, I mean passenger side, but I'm going to fix it. It's not that big of a deal. Ain't in the world. Be pretty easy to fix. I'm basically saying I'm not going to have that quad cap frame. Probably is not going to happen. I'm probably just, like I said, I'm going to buy another truck to drop the 360 motor into. It'd be nice. Nice motor to put into. A nice, you know, that motor's going into something nice. I mean... If I get rid of it, I'm just yanking the motor out, to be honest with you, if I can't find a decent one. So I know I could part of the truck out and make pretty good bank off of it, because it's not bad. Parts and parts. Uh, I know several people that would like to buy parts off of it. <laughs> or buy the whole truck, like it is. But anyway, back to the guy with that sense. He complained about the brain on there. I told him, hey, look, you knew that already. And he's like, well, yeah. And then both sides, I showed him on the thing. He, he did his due diligence. He looked at it. He test drove it. He drove it out to the thing. He went off of the gears. Did not complain about the transmission. Did not complain about the motor. He said, it, other than the tires, which were 30, basically they're 30, they're 33s, but technically they're 32.8, I think it is, because they're 285, 75, R16s. I got a really good deal on those tires. We all know that. If you watch my YouTube video, it came off the Silverado. Yes, it's going to have bumps. You can feel the bumps in the road. It's, that's why it feels really bad and bumpy. It doesn't feel like a cloud. Right? But it's not as bad as it was because I placed the front shocks. And holy crap, that didn't make a difference. If these were on regular tires, i.e. a size smaller, this actual truck would drive and feel amazingly better. It would handle a lot better. Which is why I'm kind of like debating back and forth. Honestly. But if I put a smaller cab, like I said, it'd be easier for a drive. I'm basically getting a silver offer. I'm, I'm getting the truck from the end, more or less getting a... Oh, unless I can get that truck. If I can get that truck first, I can get a silver off. But if I fit, find a Dakota in good shape, like that one I'm looking at, that's kind of harder to find. So that's why I'm like, I'm okay with settling for a Dakota. That looks good. Transmission shit, but I don't care. And the guy even warned me, it's like, hey, this, this transmission is gone. I mean, it's out of this truck. I'm like, other than the second gear. And I'm like, I don't care. Can you drive to me? He's like, yeah. Okay. Give me a couple days. So can you hold it to first? He told me he couldn't. And they told me that most likely I probably would be available because it's like it's literally not that far away from the first. And we can have a nice Dakota to put all that crap into. Which I'm looking forward to because that would be awesome. And like I said, I would make, I would build a nice Dakota. Honestly, that'd be a tire roasting Dakota, like literally. I can know that. <laughs> anyway, guy drives down. S10 looks okay. It's, it's the third door. It's got a rust on the angle. On. He didn't take that good of a picture. He bonded the third door. It comes out, um, which I'm like crap. But I know it's easy to fix. Ball joints look like they were used. I know, I'm not expecting brand new ball joints, but at least the rubber was de the rubber was decent. It didn't need immediate replacement, which was really good. It had a, I mean, yes, my Dodge transmission has 
oil on it because, well, it oil changes and it looked like, it looked like, you know, it looked like crap. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie about it, it looked like crap. This one was absolutely, I mean, absolutely caked in fucking oil on the 4.3. It had 200,000 miles. To me, that's way, actually, surprisingly, that's actually more miles than what's on the Dodge. More, which is bad. But I know the 4.3s are going to last a little while, so I'm not worried about that because, like, hey, you know, I wanted the truck. And then he knew that I had a stereo. And uh, basically told me that, hey, look, if you throw the stereo in, I'll do an even trick. And basically told him, hey, look, I have to think about it because... It ain't a cheap stereo. It's a $250 stereo. I know you used... To, I might get $100, $150. Realistically. I know some people say, well, you can get $100, you can get $200. No, well, yeah, you could if you want to sit on it. But, I mean, realistically, in a used market, it's about a $100, $150 stereo. Period. It's got Apple CarPlay. Looks good. Is used. But, hey, you know, it is what it is. Ain't what it ain't. Ain't complaining. Yeah. Good old cats. But anyway, I told him I'd think about it. Then he, told me, then he proceeds to tell me that that if I have to, if if I had to think about it, well, I told him I would, you know, give some time that he would not come back down, and that you know, pretty much, it's done deal. You know, I mean, he tells me that, hey, that, you know, if I, if I, if you, if you, I'm not gonna, once I leave, I'm gone. And I'm like, I told him, I was like, buddy, do what you gotta do. And he's like, well, this is, I'm like, but I'm like, dude, and I, you know, I know, I know I hurt his feelings a lot. <laughs> this guy was butt hurt. Start telling me, well, this is a ZR. I'm like, buddy, a Chevy S10 is a Chevy S10 to me. I said, and a Ford Ranger is a Ford Ranger. I mean, I, he's like, well, uh, it's like the point is, is that yes, I understand there's variations of the Chevy S10. I understand there's variations of Fords and different special editions of every you know small truck. To me, it's not worth it. It's to me, it's just another S10. It's just over. To me, it's an overbuilt S10. Slightly. It's got a slightly longer axles. It's built a little bit tougher. Then stock, and it comes with basically, I think it's uh, 30 10 50s tires or something like that. Basically, a 31, almost a 31 inch tall tire, which is really cool. I'm not gonna, gonna lie. I mean, I like the ZR2. But I'm just saying, and that's another thing, too. He didn't have the ZR2 rims on it, he had the knockoff standard Blazer ones. I mean, <clears throat> I mean, don't get me wrong, they were decent looking, but I'm just saying, if you're gonna basically. It has a ZR2, but you don't want those ZR2 ones on it. Or have a ZR2 bed on it. The only way you can tell really on the ZR2 is because you put a sticker on it and it says only one box, which, like I said, I had an unmarked ZR2, and that's fine, I understand. But mine actually had appropriate wheels and tires to go with it. But yeah, he got kind of butthurt about it, and I always looked at him and was just like, well, I don't care. But yeah, I mean, that and you could tell my mom was there. I mean, she was there. Obviously, that's why we had a... Well... That's why, uh... Literally, I had a... Like I said, legally, I can't say what transpired, but I'm just saying we got home just fine. We got home, not about it. <laughs> I won't even say just fine, because it really wasn't, but we got home, like I said. It's all that matters. Um... Yeah, that's how I feel about the guy on that one. He could tell him. He was trying to use that advance me, and I don't like people like that. I think it's dirty as fuck. And I said, I don't, you know, I'm going to say this. I don't, I don't, this is like, this is not a video for kids, obviously. But yeah, it was dirty. And I was trying to get out of there, and I just told him, like, hey, look. And it wasn't too far away from my house, which, you know, the guy didn't follow me. Thank God. I had people before, that's why I like meeting in like a local spot. Because, hey, you know, meeting at your house, they kind of know where you're at. So, yeah, that's another 
Pound Point deal, do not do trades at your house unless you're okay with that. Because if they have a problem with it, they will come back in. Well, depending on the person. <laughs> I'll let your imagination use that one, but not a good idea. That's why I like making local spots, especially if I trade vehicles or sell vehicles. Yes, if you are on the title of the thing, yes, it will tell you where you kind of live at anyway. I get that. But if you meet the local, they might not remember. Some people will get, a lot of people like, like, like I had, a lot of people will, will turn it in, like turn the title in real quick and they won't say anything. Like they will, they'll forget. And they won't prior, prior look it. And then even if they do, some people, like I have a bunch of people before that bought car parts off me. Buying car parts is different. It's fine if people come up to buy car parts from you. <laughs> Just saying. But, uh, I have a bunch of people come up here and they got lost. So, at least it's been my experience. Now, some of them straight found me, some of them didn't. It was just a mixed bag. Back to the story. The, you know, the bad part was, is I was looking for a truck that was a little less taller than the Dakota. And this thing looked like it was every bit as tall as the ZR2. And, I mean, the ZR2 looked like it was every bit as tall as the Dakota was. And I kind of, kind of, in fact, it looked, like I said, kind of looked taller. And I was like, I was thinking back, yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, me, me and my body can take care of this, this level, like, on the full drive, you can take a little care of the light situation, the third break I can do myself, I'll fix the rockers myself, obviously not a big deal, but I'm, like, thinking, that, Jesus Christ, you know, dude, this sucks, bad, so, I mean, we're talking about small, petty crap, I need to do piddly crap, I need to do on this drive, to make it pass, just fine. Yeah, not hating on it. I'm like, wow. So I basically I said on that one. Tell on that one. Um, so yeah. This is like I said, a little update video. Um, life update video, I guess it would be on there. Um, thank y'all for watching, and I'll do a uh, another video shortly. Bye.